of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me my very soul shall shout hallelujah praise God for saving I want you to thank God this morning for saving you I want you to thank God this morning for your life I want you to thank God this morning that you're alive praise his holy name for he is worthy to be praised he is worthy to be blessed. He is worthy to be exalted. Without Christ, you are nothing. Masenderi gazegeria, Rabba siri bokunta masondoro boshenderia. Appreciate God for who he is. Appreciate God for His love. Appreciate God for His blessings. Appreciate God for His kindness. Appreciate God for His faithfulness. That you are here this morning is not by your by yourself. You are here because God has said you are going to be here. You are alive because God has destined you are going to be alive. You slept, you woke up without any problems. You had lovely dreams, you even snored. Some cannot even snore. Some cannot even sleep. We complain of what we are not supposed to complain about. Let's just thank God for he is a kind God. Oh, my sekeri gazondo robo shenderia. Riba ka sekeri gazondo robo shenderia. Hora ba ka siri ba kunta ma sekeria. Hora ba ka siri ba kunta ria. Thank God for Nigeria. Thank God for Nigeria. Rama sondo robo shekeri gazekeria. We are still enjoying peace and will continue to enjoy peace in the name of Jesus. It was decreed at the beginning of the year. That we will sing new songs. We will still sing new songs. And I know some are already singing new songs. Because things are not the same in the name of Jesus. And we are going to pray that God will turn around all that we desire in the name of Jesus. Thank God for what is happening in Nigeria. Let's pray for a change in the name of Jesus. Rama Sondorobo Shenderia. It could have been worse, but God has been here for us. Rima Sekeriga Zenderia. Hora Baba Baba. Hora Ma Sekeriga Zenderia. And we are going to decree that we shall not see another affliction in the name of Jesus. Coronavirus is gone and it will not come back in the mighty name of Jesus. Rama Sekeriga Zenderia. Rima Sendia. Rabba Baba Baba. Hora ba siri ba kuri gazondo robo, rimo seke ri gazeke ri gazondo robo shenyeria, raga ga ga ga, rimo seke ri gazondo robo shenyeria. Some countries are locked down again right now, but God is merciful to Nigeria. Let's thank God for His loving kindness. Rama sondo robo, rimo seke ri gazeke ri gazondo robo, hora ba 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 ba, rimo siri ba kunta masondo robo shenyeria. Let's thank God for today's service. Rimo Sekeria, we are not going to be spectators this morning, but we are going to partake of the presence of God this morning in the name of Jesus. Nothing is going to distract us from hearing from God this morning. Rama Sondorobo Shekeria, Hora Baba, Horimo Sekeriga Zekeria, Hora Baka Sondorobo, Rimbro no Sekeriga Seriba Kuntaria, Hora Baba Baba, Rimo Sekeriga Zenderia. Romo Sekeria, tell God this morning, I'm going to receive my blessing this morning. Before I go, Almighty God, I am going to receive my blessing this morning. I am not going to be a spectator in the mighty name of Jesus. Rama Sondorobo Shekeria, I'm going to be a partaker of his blessings in the name of Jesus. I am going to receive from the throne of grace in the name of Jesus. Rama Sondorobo Shekeria, Rabba Kasiri Bakuntala Basekeria. I am going to receive the impossibilities from God this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. When others are saying there's a casting down, I'm going to be singing there's a lifting up because I know the God that I serve. Rama Sondorobo. Rimo Sekeriga Sekeria. 
Let's pray for our children. Let's cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Wherever they are, we soak them in the blood of Jesus. We thank God for the man of God. We thank God for his message this morning. That as we listen to his messages, there shall be an impartation in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank God for life. Oh, thank God that you're existing. Oh, thank God for his loving kindness. Oh, just think of the kindness of God. Just think of the kindness of God. Oh, we worship you. We exalt your name for you are a good God. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Let's take that worship song again. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Sunday to somebody. Happy Sunday. Hallelujah.
all over the world this affliction, gross darkness, and we've had a fair share. But we have confidence in Jesus, who is our shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd, everyone. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Lord is our shepherd. Sing choir. He goes before me. He goes before me. He's also defender behind me. Defender behind me. And for that reason, I will not fear.
Because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him shall we trust. Surely He will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from every perilous pestilence. He will cover us with His feathers and under His wings shall we take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord our refuge, even the Most High, our dwelling place, no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling place. For he will give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands they shall bear us up, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, upon the young lion and the serpent shall we trample under our feet. Because we have set our love upon him, therefore he will deliver us. He will set us up on high because we have known his name. We will call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life will he satisfy us and show us 
his salvation. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Please, I'd like us to rise up as we pray. Let's rise up as we pray. This morning, when we gather together, the Lord has asked through the Bible that we must always pray for those who are in position of authority. I'd like us to quickly turn our Bible to the book of Colossians, I just read from verse, verse 16. Well, let me take it from verse 15. He said, he is the image of the invisible God. He's talking about Jesus Christ. The firstborn of all, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or power, all things were created through him and for him. Is before all things, and in him all things consist. And in him all things consist. In him, Nigeria consists. In him, you and I consist. Therefore, when we stand to pray this morning, the Bible says that in him we live, we move, and we have our being. We are in him, and we are covenant children of God. That therefore, when we begin to pray, we have absolute confidence that whatever we ask, he will answer us, because all things consist in him. And I want us to open our mouth and pray for this nation this morning, because all things consist in him. Whatever we ask, it shall be given to us. Begin to thank God for our nation. Commit the leadership to God's hand for the leadership consists in him. And therefore, the leadership will do the will of God. Every plan by whosoever to obtain this nation, to turn this nation to a war zone, we stand today knowing that all things consist in Christ. And we turn it. We say, it shall not be. Whatsoever we declare, because we declare it in him, whatever he says comes to pass. For he is the creator of all things. All things were created by him and for him. So we can begin to open our mouth today to speak that manifestation of what he has declared. Nigeria shall soar higher. The economy shall become better. There shall be peace in our nation. The spirit of the man of darkness shall not rule over our land in the name of Jesus. In the same vein, let's begin to pray as we lead, as we lift up the president and the executive decree that he only do the will of God. Pray also for those in the in the legislative arm, those in the judiciary, begin to pray that only the counsel of God shall stand in the name of Jesus. Want us to pray for the body of Christ today, pray for oneness, pray for unity, declare that that which the Lord has purpose, we shall be found worthy of that calling in the name of Jesus. Come against every form of division, come against any form of competition, declare that God will we fill the hearts of the believers with a zeal to go out and win souls in the name of Jesus. I want to also begin to pray for the Fountain of Life Church today. Thank God for the set man, Pastor Taiwo and Pastor Namti. Thank God for what God is using them to do. Declare that as many as God has called into this place, none shall be a castaway. Begin to declare that it's our season of, of mercy. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, we speak increase on every side. In the church, in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for this morning, this service. Pray that God God's power shall be made manifest. Anyone that is here or that 
attending the service online, as many as are known to be members of this church, if they be sick, by the power of the word of God, they shall be made whole today in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. Declare that even that which the Lord has purpose for you, the promise he gave you this year, you are walking to the manifestation in the name of Jesus. It is a year of new song, we shall sing new song in the name of Jesus. It's a month of enduring mercy and every morning he renews that message. This day is full of benefits. We shall manifest that benefit in the name of Jesus. Make a declaration. Pray for our children decree that whatever the enemy has purposed for them, we cancel it because all things consist in Christ. Our children are consisted in Christ in the name of Jesus. Our life, our business, you name it, our marriage, our husband, our wives, they consist in him. Therefore, they shall be a fulfillment of what he has purposed. Those words that were spoken concerning you, concerning me, it shall come to pass. Let's begin to thank God for what God has said to do this week. We shall be a testimony. Begin to thank him, give him praise, give him honor, lift up your hands and give him honor. Father, we just thank you. We bless you. We honor you for what you are about to do. Lord, have your way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. And the people say, please let's be seated. Thank you. This morning on Fountain News, Annual carol service comes up on Sunday, December 13. A new topic starts at the Bible study this Tuesday. Good morning and welcome to this service. I am Iboro Toya Edit. We start today with some exciting news. Yes, it's about something we usually look forward to at this time of the year. December is almost here and so is Christmas. The annual carol service comes up on Sunday, December 13 at 4 p.m. Please mark the date and start inviting everyone you know. More details will follow shortly. Now the Home Affairs, that is the Married Women's Fellowship of this church, will be holding her November Hangout on Zoom this Saturday at 12 noon. Theme is, Woman, what is on your mind? Let's talk about it. Access code is 8678-971-2063. And the password is New Song 20. Please tell your married female friends about it. The Bishop's Court, that is the Married Men's Fellowship of this church, invites every man to their next fellowship, which comes up on Zoom, also this Saturday, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Theme is Reawakening. Access code is 372-677-8391. This is one meeting you cannot afford to miss if you are a married man. Please invite your friends. Ha! Ah, it has been a refreshing time at the online weekly Bible study. Conversation on the topic God the Holy Spirit was rounded off last week. The new topic at the Bible study this Tuesday at 6 p.m. is the law of life versus the law of death. You cannot afford to miss it. Remember, prayer meeting follows immediately after the Bible study. Home Fellowship holds online this evening at 6 o'clock. Join other brethren as they continue on the conversation, Faith in Hard Times. To join, go to at TFOLC Home Fellowship on Linktree and click on the nearest center to you. You will be glad you did. A reminder that the Children's Church and Teens Church continue their services today online. Please encourage your children to join the services. Shower service continues on site and on all streaming platforms this Thursday at 9 a.m. And the daily webinar prayer meeting holds Monday to Friday from 11.30 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. Please note 
that the main church auditorium will be closed after the first service till 9 a.m. This is to allow for decontamination before the 10 a.m. service. Thanks for watching this episode of Fountain News. To watch it all over again, please visit www.tfolc.org. Now, if your birthday or wedding anniversary was last week or is today, please rise for recognition. Hallelujah. Anybody who's celebrating, let's celebrate with you in prayer. Father, we thank you for these loved ones who are celebrating their birthdays and their anniversaries. We give you glory for their lives. Thank you for keeping them. And we know that as long as they are alive, we will keep hearing testimonies from them in the name of Jesus. Fill their hearts with joy. Fill their hearts with peace. Fill their hearts with understanding. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Happy birthday. Happy wedding anniversary. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Good morning, honorable fountaineers. How are you all doing this morning? Amen. I'm enjoying mine too. And there's no joy without the word of God. That's why we have this promise for this week, which is from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. 1 Corinthians 1, 9. And it says, God is faithful. God is faithful. What does it say? God is faithful. Let's say it five times. God is faithful. 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 By whom you were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's now take it all together. God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God is faithful. I just, I just feel like that we need to say God is faithful. 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 I want you to say with me. Say it with me and mean it. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Look at that situation and say God is faithful. 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 And by whom we are called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. We have this fellowship, this partnership with Jesus. Therefore, we are victorious. We are joyful. We are fruitful. We are, glo we are glorious in every way. Because he's faithful and he called us through his son, Jesus Christ. By him, we are called to have fellowship with Jesus. Remember, he's the same Jesus. If somebody has forgotten, that died for us and he rose again on the third day. Right now he's seated at the right hand of the Father. Guess where we are sitting? We are also seated in the heavenly places, high above all principalities and powers. I'd like you to rise up and declare who you are this morning. You are full of wisdom because you have this fellowship with the Son of God. You are full of wisdom. You are full of understanding. You cannot fail because you fellowship with Jesus. Makarubo shakariba Your sins have been forgiven. Mashukori, you are more than a conqueror. Say that over your life. You are. More, I am more than a conqueror this week. Makashi, what conquered me last week will not conquer me this week. Where I failed last week, I will not fail this week. Makoshi kelibo siakar. I'm rising up. I'm running. I am running. I'm running this race, and I will finish well. I will not get tired. Even when I feel like I'm weary, I'll keep running because God has given me grace. I fellowship with Jesus, and there's no way I'll fellowship with Him, and I will not have grace to run this race. I receive grace to run the race. I receive grace to run the race. I receive grace to run the race. I will manifest the fruit of the spirit this week people would look at me and see the joy of the Lord people would look at me and wonder at the patience that I will be showing people would look at me and see peace people would look at me and see love people would look at me and see long suffering and they would know that God is alive God is alive through this person that is you God is alive and they would say God is faithful 
They will say God has given her a new song. God has given him a new song. God is faithful. God is fa We didn't know that God could do this for him. We didn't know that God could do this for her. God is faithful. Even this person, the person's life has changed. God is faithful. 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 Father, you are faithful. Father, you are faithful. You are faithful. That means you never change. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You were in our yesterday, you are here today, and already you are in our tomorrow. You are faithful. You will never fail. You are faithful. You are faithful. You have thoughts, good thoughts towards us. You have promised us, and you will not change on your word. You are not a man that you should lie, nor a son of man that you should repent. What you have promised will come to pass. We're holding on to your promises because they are yes and amen, and we hold you to your word that you are faithful. Thank you, faithful God. You prove yourself faithful to each and every one of us here. And to those who are watching online, prove yourself faithful in their situation. In the name of Jesus. We are boasting in the Lord. We say you will not fail us. Let the, let the evil, let the devil with, his, with the demons hear that God will not fail us. God will not fail us because he's faithful. And because we fellowship with Jesus Christ. Let all hell hear this. God is faithful. He will not fail us. He will not fail us in Nigeria. He will not fail us in the Fountain of Life Church. He will not fail us in our individual lives. He will not fail us. He is faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. There is no other God like you. We give you praise. We give you honor and glory. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus name we have prayed. And I want you to prove that God is faithful by telling the, by saying it in the atmosphere that hallelujah no go finish for your mouth. Amen. And give him your best dance this Sunday morning. Someone is not moving. Hallelujah no go finish my mouth. Hallelujah we're not finished from your mouth. Hallelujah no go finish my mouth. from my own mouth the Bible says in him was life and the life was the light of man and this light shines in the darkness and that is cannot overcome it it cannot now it's up to your faith in him was what life 
and the life was what light and the light was what shines where in the darkness and the darkness cannot come on lift your hand and worship his holy name come on worship his holy name worship him hallelujah <laughs> Father, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. He says, We we worship the maker of things. He's the Almighty God. Yeah. To you. situation now on this platform and before us take the glory in every life take the glory in Jesus name we pray you may be seated no worship his majesty this year they were planning big for next year by God's grace May there be Thanksgiving service. So our Thanksgiving is on the 29th of November. Two weeks from now. So come prepared. If you have any reason to praise God, come to church. If you say, this year, do I have any reason to say thank you? Then you should come. I know God is waiting for us. More than any year, I think this is the year to really thank him. What a faithful God he is. Praise the Lord. 
there'll be carol service, I think you've heard that. So uh, we're managing to start to rehearse by the grace of God. And God will give us grace in Jesus' name. Father, take all the glory now, even as your word comes. And let my lips, let your word come with precision and with power. Let them meet the need for which you are releasing them and be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Oni mutin roba emi o mariru Jesu ye. Mutin roba emi o riru Jesu ye. Koyi bo pada, koyi bo pada. That means our church is fully back. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And it reads, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Hallelujah. I won't go to, I won't, I won't cap for too long because I want to, I'll just make a move, a little progress today. One thing that we made clear to ourselves, of course, and made clear to us by the Spirit of God, is the fact that God was not punishing them. He wasn't indicting them. He was responding to their overtures of love. They had poured out so much towards God in the dedicating, I mean, of the temple. The whole nation was glad. Their joy was palpable, in fact, was evident. The king came out. The king led the procession of worship and praise. As much of a fact, we're told that by the time the king finished praying, thanksgiving to God at the dedication of the temple, the glory of God came down. So much so that even the priests were not able to stand. And that was something else. It was, and the Bible told us that the sacrifices were unusual, never such 
amount of sacrifices in Israel, never. So everything was outstanding. So you can imagine the joy in the heart of God. And God was responding, and that was when he said to them that, look, even if I, the creator, decided to send locusts to wipe out your land, your economy, if I send wars and pestilence against you in reaction to the fact that you would have offended me, it wasn't that they had offended. He said, and you pray, my people pray, I will change it. I will stop it. And we're bringing out a principle from here that in every nation, God has a people. And as goes the church, goes the nation. And as a matter of fact, if you've been listening on Thursdays and Sundays since we started, I can never make it a little easier. As goes the man, as goes the woman, goes the home, particularly the man. As goes the home, goes the church. Don't kill yourself. It's how you take God at home that you will present it to us in church. Even if you look like we don't, my wife and I, we don't even, no, we never even, apart from smile, we don't do anything. One day it will sip out. So be yourself. Be who he has made you to be. Whether at home, or in the marketplace, or in the church. As goes the man, goes the home. As goes the home, goes the church. As goes the church, goes the nation. And when we're talking of home, of course, responsibility of a, of a proper home is on the church, is the Christians. So we looked at this. But one thing again you see is this. His people, it wasn't like they were sinning. So he anticipated that they would sin. So he made provision. But one good thing that I want to understand is that the thermostat for a nation is the church. We are God's point of contact. And that's why anybody can assume anything and can see anything they want to do or about the situation in the nation. That's okay. We have the right to, to complain. And honestly, I'm not saying we should not complain when we have to complain. But please, if you are complaining without praying, Don't you think that is equal to frustration? Think about it. We condemn, we complain, we judge without praying. Frustration, Baba. God forbid. In the name of Jesus. When you have the power to change it. I can go on and give you examples in the Bible and out of the Bible that God, because of a man, will hold a nation together. Wait until the man exits. So, wow, God held it together because of one man. So my people, and what are they supposed to do? Pray. And of course, we reminded ourselves that, of course, what is, what, what really, what else could you be doing if you're not praying? We understand that some people take prayers to substitute for any other thing that they should do. They are lazy people, and so they don't want to wake up from bed. They say, I will pray, God, you cook my food, and bring it and put it in my mouth on my bed. Uh, that's not what we're saying. The Bible has it's, the Bible has declared that God has made you a partner with him on earth. So there are responsibilities expected of you. But that does not make a prayer. As a matter of fact, for you to be able to fit into what God has called you to do and be proper, you need his guidance. You need to pray. You need to constantly communicate. We can never be little prayers. But again, we have to warn ourselves. Cannot make prayer cannot substitute for what you ought to do. He says, the man that does not work shall not eat. So if you sleep on your bed for morning tonight and say, I'm fasting and praying for the whole year, you have a Bible. 
duduk oleh Yesus. Apa yang dia orang saya? My people must pray. My people must pray. My people must pray. And Jesus set a good example for us all through his life. He always, he was always talking to the Father. In fact, he revealed the secret of his success. He said, the secret of the mystery of his life and ministry. You know where he was? He said, I don't do anything except as I see. I'm always keeping it. I'm always watching. I don't say a word except as we have talked about it. I don't say a word except as I've heard him say concerning it. That's what I say. So I say what he says concerning an each and I get results here on earth. Prayer. And of course, you see, um, at, the, at, the, at the tomb of Lazarus, you know what he said? He said, I thank you for that. I said, look, the reason I'm doing this, he said, you always hear me when I call. That's so that they may know that you called me. So he did it in their presence. We must pray. And that's what we've been looking at. Glory be to God in the highest. Then, last Sunday we took it further. If we're praying, the Bible says, do you think you can really pray as you expect you to pray? Can you pray perfectly to get the perfect results you anticipate with your own power? He says we don't even know how to pray as we ought to. So we begin to see dimension of the Holy Ghost in the matter. God just said something to me now. He said, you've been hearing people give testimonies. This service is for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. There are certain things that you don't repeat twice. You just keep quiet. But I'm permitted to repeat it. You've heard people give testimonies. Yours is coming out of this service. In the name of Jesus. Ah, really? Try. At least that person is here under the sound of my voice. So he said, we don't even know how to pray as we ought to. So we begin to see the dimension of the Spirit in this matter. After all, the Bible says in all our ways we should acknowledge Him and He will direct our part. And so we began to look at the church. Relevant to the nation, the Bible says in 931 of the book of Acts, say, and the church had rest, or the church had peace. And they were edified. And walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, they multiply. And so we got to look at the benefit that the church has in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. That was last Sunday. So I take it from there straight away. Glory be to God in the highest. I say glory be to God in the highest. And last Sunday too, we stressed as it were, let me salute the Adelaide Good to see you in church. I pause the message to greet you. You must be important, very, very, quietly important. God bless you. Good to see you. No, they, were, they just arrived back in the country some few days back and quarantined, and that's why they're here. Good to see you. Dr. Nzigo, I never mentioned you the first day you came. They're good to see you, Dr. Nzigo. You know, he's a doctor, he's a consultant, and he's so particular about these things. I mean, they, Long before the government came up with this, a pastor, I think we have to gap sitting. I said, I don't understand what this man is saying. But I never heard it done anywhere in the world. He said, this thing that is coming, we may have to space. I said, ah, we said. And lo and behold, we started spacing. Good to see you, Dr. Nzegu. All right. Add and delete. I'm continuing the message. Why my people, we stressed that last Sunday. Because God does not just give assignment without preparing you. No, he won't. <laughs> when God says, hey, Taiwo, 
I want you. God knows you will succeed. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. If God said, John, say, marry Mary, it's because you are capable to be the husband. And Mary, you are capable to be the wife. God is not flippant. No. 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 Glory be to God in the highest. Do men fail? Oh yeah. Why do they fail? When they don't take serious, what God takes serious? Who are these people? The ones of whom he said, you are the light of the world. You think you will, will give the assignment of shining on earth if it, if it won't make you, if it wouldn't make you light? No. You are the light of the world. As not far as you are a city on a hill. Many will be influenced by you. He now says, let your light shine. The issue is not the darkness. I know there is darkness. Shine. Is somebody hearing me? <laughs> let your light shine. So that comes to you agreeing with him and believing that if he's made me light, I am light. I may not feel like light, I may not look like light, I may, but I am light. I am light because he says I am light. I shine because I am light. And when I shine, the darkness cannot because he says so. Uh -huh. That's faith. And listen to me well, church. That's exactly how God expects you to live on earth. There's no other option. The just shall live by faith. Uh, look at the trouble. Look at, look at. That's why I say shine. Shut up. You do what I ask you to do and see whether anything will be able to stand. Who are these people? Those who he has redeemed by his blood. Those who are now sons in the kingdom. Those who wield authority. Those who, who only, I mean, it's only what they allow on earth that happens is what they disallow to happen. But pastor, things are happening because you are yet to understand fully who you are. Take your stand. Hey, listen, listen, listen. If my people will only humble themselves and pray. Who are these people? They are blessed in and out. Oh yeah. With every spiritual blessing, heavenly please, they are already blessed. Hallelujah. Everything created waits to hear commands from them. And it gets more interesting when they understand who they are by their identity and what they have, and they are in agreement. That's another aspect of this thing. God does not. She, 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 she. That was a mistake the, 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 the unfaithful servant made. Because Jesus was given a parable of himself and his kingdom. And what was he saying? The unjust servant said, eh, I know you to reap. God never reached you. It wasn't so. Lie, lie. That's wickedness of the heart of man. Can you imagine he was looking straight in his face and he was saying, you, I know you're reaping. He said, you know I reap. Eh? Eh, what are you doing? Go to where they reap what they sow. If you know, why are you? God will never reap where he has not sown. Fundamental to his kingdom is the principle of seed and harvest. Yeah. He gave his only begotten son, so he has the right to call us sons. Uh, yeah. Who are these people? You know, we cannot touch on this last Sunday. They are God's battle axe. There is workmanship. The Bible makes all this clear. 
And that's why he's not calling everybody, he's calling his people, my people. I'll take it from there. And it's not enough to have made you this way. When he's sending you, he goes along with you. And look at it. Yes, it's the responsibility of the church, but who makes up the church? It's the people. Explanation. Quickly help me turn to Acts, sorry, the book of Ephesians in chapter 4. Quick. God bless you. Ephesians 4. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me, oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day, oh Lord, you have been so good, you are so good to me, oh Lord, you are excellent in my life. Praise the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 4, you, I'll just quickly jump to 9. Now, this, he ascended Jesus. Um, what does it mean but that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth? Hallelujah. He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all heavens that he might fill all things. There's no way you want to define it. If it is created, oh, you can't hide it from God. He created it. I said there are no secrets. Whether in the spiritual realm or in the physical realm, where you can hide to the, mm-mm, the fire of God will fall there. He will touch you. Oh, fire. His presence will be there. The Psalms say, where can I go from his presence? Where can I hide? Nowhere. He feels all in all. 11, and he himself gave some to the apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers, for the equipping of the saints, for the equipping of the saints, for the equipping of the saints. Some version says for the perfecting of the saints, for the perfecting of the saints. Some version says, some, 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 some version says for the maturing of the saints. Good. For the equipping of the saints. Why the saints? Because they will do the works of the ministry. Uh-huh. Why would they do the works of the ministry? So that the body of Christ may be edified. May be established, may be built up. Glory be to God in the highest. See, that's the church now built up for action. How individuals are dealt with. Individual contributing, everybody has something to do. Individual equipped, prepared fully for work. The ministry. And together, building the body. That's why any, anywhere you find yourself, build. Don't be an agent of this of division or destruction. Even if you're so insecure, don't let your insecurity become a problem to you. Ask God to heal you and reestablish you. It says, till we all come to the unity, hallelujah, of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, all of us, a perfect man, uh to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should be no longer be children, tossed to and fro, as long as we are children. Hey, but the church has a responsibility, our prayers. I'll deal with this some other time. Let's say the church. I talk of the local assembly and I talk of the body of Christ. 15, I mean, six, I mean look at um, 16. Okay, 15. By speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head, that is Christ, from whom the whole body jointed and knit together by what every joint, every one that has been equipped, that has been perfected, every joint, hallelujah, 
supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share. This thing I'm talking about, a fountain would not play its role well and get the church to understand and get the individual to get into it. If redeemed will not do the same and battle will not do the same, there will continue to be division in the house, in the body. And can two work together? Except they agree. So what happens if fountain is divided among yourself? What happens if your home is divided? You give the devil the key. God forbid in the name of Jesus. I like to tell husband and wife, it's not for fun that God says, hey, woman, your husband is the head. Let him, you know what that means? Let him be the head. So I tell the man, say, I'm the head. Did God tell you you are the head? Well, I'm the head. If you are shouting, I'm the head, that means you are not the head yet. That means that you are, we are yet to assume your place. If you are the head, Guinea, Guinea, Bama. those who would like to come to your home will be afraid of you. If you know who you are, you don't tell them, I'm the head, I'm the head. I am your head after all. You didn't submit. You are not submit. If you are the light, shine. That's all. No, let's face it. If you're the light, shine. So if I say, I'm the light, I'm the light, I'm the light, the tender, I'm the light of uh-uh. the light, just shine. Okay. Every part supplies, you have something. Our duty is to make sure you get to that place where you begin to produce and supplies your part. We all need your part. We all do. We need your part to be perfected. And that's why any whole house will not allow division because you need all the supplies. You see, maturity says, we are no longer children. Trust and for his children, I will do it my own, my own. My own call, my own. That's children. Don't you read it? Everybody has something to supply. I've gone this route to let you know that see, the church must be prepared for this. So the question is again, what are we preaching from the pulpit? I'm talking generally. And we are complaining about the nation. I want to begin to round up because I realize the time is so short for me. Actually, I was given 28 minutes to preach, I saw it. And that's why we have the benefit of the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And what that does is that it will make perfect your imperfection. You will fight your battle. You will hold your peace. The amazing thing was that, is that this thing was well known in the Old Testament, though it wasn't fully available to them. So I asked myself the question, I said, God, what if I can understand it as much as David did, or even half as much? But I know I can, even more than that, by your spirit. And you are helping me at our will. You say, oh, David, remember when David messed up with Bathsheba? I mean, he me- huh? if you are God, you will kill him now. You strike him dead. I, 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 won't spare, I wouldn't have spared him. But thank God, God is not a man. That's why we all are here today. I got to be counting our thoughts and our sins. But hear what David said. He said, cast me not away from your presence. Oh. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Ah. He knew what was most important. (laughs) God, do everything, but please. Hey. He knew that when God calls you an assignment, 
he comes with you. Fountain has just started. In the name of Jesus. They say, who is speaking? I, in Christ Jesus, I, in the name of Jesus. I think Christ Jesus, it's time we're speaking. In Christ Jesus, it is time we're speaking. Glory be to God in the highest. After the fire. Here are Moses in Exodus chapter 33. You keep on telling me to take these people. By the way, it was a very good time we had on Thursday. It was beautiful. Beautiful. You keep on telling me to take these people to the land which you have promised them and you will clear the way you will it you can honey. But you haven't shown me who will go with me. Huh? Because look, get to understand God. When He appoints you, He anoints you. When He appoints you, equips you, He will go with you. Come on. But you see the gentleman. He goes with you in the person of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't do what you don't want done. When I say your eyes is this, oh, you want to do it alone so I can take the glory? Hey, go ahead. But the moment you say, shall we? I submit to you. He takes over. He does it and presents you like you are the one that has, I mean, has done it. And the person who is not smart too will begin to take all the accolade of men, not knowing that you should give it back to him. It's for his glory. You will never do that. I'm talking to the husband who is almost frustrated, the wife who is almost frustrated, the parents who are more frustrated. I'm talking to you right now. That there is a new beginning for you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I accept you and not show you in your place of assignment. All of us are not going to be preaching this way. But we will have enough from his word and from praying and talking, dialoguing with him to be the best engineer, the best doctor. Come on. Your vocation is a ministry. Maybe you don't know that. Because God must be glorified there. So you don't say no when I'm in the office. Like some people, like one lady said many years ago, I, I couldn't believe it. She was all over the church. Hey, hey, hey. Only when trouble started and they said, Pastor, I said, no, 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 she's the one. I said, no, her. I said, go tell her. They said, Pastor, you know what she said? She said, I'm born again in church. She said, when I'm not in church, I'm born against. I said, whoa, there are some. They come every day, but they are born against. But they can never prosper. Amen. Hey! You say, why? I am talking in Christ Jesus. I need you to be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Except they repent. Someone said, well, you haven't told me. How did God solve the problem? He said, hey, 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 my presence will go with you. Hey. And I will give you rest. Glory be to God in the highest. I have to stop. But I have more to share. Ah, no. If I start that, you say, oh, someone, I'll leave it. But that was in the Old Testament. What of the New Testament? Much more. The consummation of all these things happened in the New Testament. For David to be saying, your presence. For Moses to be saying, your presence. For Jacob to say, if you will go with me and accompany me and bring me back to this. What did they know? That we are taken lightly. How does he apply to us? To us it's not just his presence. It is his presence fully well. But his presence is not just like a garment to us. Yes it is, but much more than that. He said, really? Yeah. After he said, put on the new man. Put on. 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 Put on.
put your hand in your man. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. So it's like a garment. But much more than that. So what is it? It's on the inside. And not just on the inside. Here, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my phone. This is my radio. I like it in my pocket, but my pocket is very big this time around. Um, hear this. Every, yeah. Every area of your life where you're looking for the promise of God, if you get into the New Testament, look for in Him, in whom, in Christ, by whom, you'll be shocked. You will find everything you're looking for settled. I give you an example. There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ. Come on, are you here? You will struggle with condemnation for a long time until you know that in him you can never be condemned. Until you know that. Here it in a, in a more contemporary version for clear understanding. This is Passion Translation. So now the case is closed, concluded. There remains no accusing voice of condemnation against those who are joined in life union. Is somebody hearing me? So it's not just with you. It's a hybrid life. It's a life with God that cannot be separated. When you see yourself that way, you will stand your ground. I feel the fire all over my veins. You will occupy where God has put you. You will establish and you will multiply. That's the comfort of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere you see in Christ, this version says, you are in a life union with him. Here, Ephesians 1, 3. This is interesting. I'll just read that one and I stop. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us as a love gift from our wonderful heavenly father, the father of our Lord Jesus, all because, come on, all because, is somebody hearing me? He sees us, is somebody hearing me? As what? All because he sees us what? Wrapped into Christ. Hallelujah. And that's why I celebrate him. So when he looks at me, he sees me wrapped into Christ. Every time he looks at me vis-a-vis -vis the covenant, I, my life is a union with the life of Christ. You can't separate us. And with that knowledge, I walk where he sent me. I stand where he sent me. I take authority and I expect result. Is somebody getting me? Now you can begin to understand what they understood in the early church. Luke 24, 49. He said, look, 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 look. Tell you in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from above. I don't send you without going with you. And when that is settled in your personal life, it's settled in my personal life, when we come together, we know why we're here. When we agree, whether by proxy or physically, we know what we're doing. The Bible says if we don't, if we settle it, nothing can change it. I will stop there. I am tempted to continue, but I have determined to always stop. So you see, a lot depends on you. Whether for your personal life, for your marriage, for your local assembly, for your nation, it depends on you. Say, so what if I don't? Okay. God will make sure that those who do have peace. Jeremiah 29, 7. Uh -huh. 
Until the heart of God, he shows himself about you. Until the gentle, he shows himself gentle. It is how you decide to make it. 29 7 says, Pray for the peace of that place. Seek his peace because then you will have peace. And you're going to increase. So then the churches were at peace. And they were edified. And walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost, they never cease to multiply. I speak multiplication over your lives. In the name of Jesus, I say I miss the battle. They may be standing waiting for a downfall. Ah. So my God will see You'll be the one to say, God bless you. Because you are not alone. And you will accomplish the reason why he has called you. And much more. In the name of Jesus. I'm not joking. That's the truth. That's Christianity. It's not a play. And that's why we celebrate him, you see. See, because when he looks at us, he sees us enwrapped in him. And that's why we celebrate him. It's all for his glory. Your blessing, your upliftment, your promotion is his glory. You didn't choose me. You have been forgotten. Now because you have a little bit of uh, substance, you don't think that you're the one that made yourself. Who are you? Say, I chose you and I appoint you. And I made up my mind to make sure that you bear fruit. So why are you now, why are you now, why, 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 why are you deprived? He said, he gives my father great pleasure that you bear fruit. <laughs> he wants to be glorified in your prosperity. I speak peace in your home. In the name of Jesus. I speak understanding to your minds and your hearts. In the name of Jesus. You are head, you are not here. You are a king on earth. In the name of Jesus. By virtue of the blood I shed on Calvary. You will finish well. Oh? In the name of Jesus. I say you will prosper. In the name of Jesus. I say in him was life. And the life was the light of man. And the light, what? Shines in that place. I say shine in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to God in the highest. I say glory be to God in the highest. He said, let your light shine. I say shine in the name of Jesus. Your testimonies will continue to abound. In the name of Jesus. On account of you, Nigeria will never go under. In the I'm, not, I'm not talking you proud. I'm not talking you proud. But I'm saying the truth. I say on account of you, Nigeria will never go under. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Aren't you glad you're a Nigerian? Aren't you glad God can depend on you? Aren't you glad you cannot be drowned by the darkness of this world? Aren't you glad you're not just going to win? You'll be a way, you'll, you'll be a way pointer to many. That's why when God blesses you, it makes you a blessing. You will finish well. You will see your children's children. In the name of Jesus. And I agree with you right now. Every force that is working hard to make sure you don't get there. I say I join my force with you in the name of Jesus. I to, today let the fire of Holy Ghost descend and destroy in the name of Jesus. I decree your liberty. I decree your confidence. You will finish well. I say in Jesus' name you will finish well. God will be glorified in your lives. In the name of Jesus. That's why we celebrate you. Because you always see us, you always see us enwrapped in him. Take all the glory. Right now, we want to pray for everyone who is saying, I want to make Jesus the Lord of my life. You see, we're talking about those who have a relationship with him. And we are giving you the opportunity right now to do the same. Because we know that he's been working on you, convincing you of this. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying in my place. Resurrecting the third day. Now I know you are the son of God. Cleanse me from my sins. Fill me with your spirit. Henceforth, you use me for your glory. In your most precious name I pray. Amen. Father, I commit all this once to you. I know fully well that you perfect what you are, what you start. So Father, make their growth rapid. Use them for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Now, if you are seeking your body, listen to me. Don't believe the lie of the devil. You will return to testify. Amen. So I rebuke that sickness in the name of Jesus. I stand in my place in him. I say, your spirit of infirmity, go in the name of Jesus. Because by his stripes, these are healed. So I say, be healed in the name of Jesus. Write us. We'd like to share your joy. God, you give your doctors, your consultants, your handlers divine wisdom. You will testify in Jesus' name. Now we give opportunity for people to give their lives and give opportunities for people to give to the Lord. So if you hear and you know it's giving time and I know it's giving time, I want you to praise God with what you have. Pack your offering, pack your tithe, pack your gift. Let's bless his holy name with it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. It says to you be of the glory, glory. to you be of the honor to you be of the glory and adoration forever so we bless this offering as we give it we give it in faith we give it joyfully and we receive all the blessings that come with disobedience in Jesus name be all the glory be all the honor be all and adoration church this morning give the Lord a big shout of hallelujah I say hallelujah shall we all rise up I say give the Lord a big shout of hallelujah hallelujah come on one hallelujah shall we share the grace together may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the very sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 
for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And so sin shall not have dominion over us because the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us and it quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. You can do like this, your neighbor. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.
Certainly out of us. God is worthy of worship. Yeah. 